Play it cool. Hi guys, welcome to the first Iceberg Interactive live stream. I'm Saskia. And I'm Nils. And today we're celebrating the launch of Into the Stars. Okay, uh, thank you all for joining us uh, today in the live stream. Uh, first of all, we're gonna congratulate Fugitive Games for getting a game out of early access. It's a huge achievement, so congratulations. Uh, and also a big thank you to the community for all their feedback and support for getting this game out and as a, to get it, making it this solid product that it is right now. Um, so about the stream for today, um, what can we expect? Well, we're going to showcase the latest build, obviously, so we can check out what kind of cool new stuff has been added to the release. Uh, we're going to take a look at the new launch trailer. Uh, we will be answering your questions, so drop them in the chat and we'll be happy to answer. Uh, and keep an eye out for some cool key drops, because we are going to hide them somewhere in this stream. And then, of course, last but not least, we're going to announce the winners of the Captain's Chair Contest. Okay, what can they win? Well, let's take a look at those awesome prizes. Um, to start off, we have the Captain's Chair sticker. Uh, Niels actually has this sticker on his chair in the office to show everybody that he's the real captain. Everybody has to know, right? <laughs> and then we also have a pretty cool uh, star map. It features uh, spots for good resources, stuff about planets, tips and tricks. It's actually top secret. So. It's very top secret. <laughs> and on the other side, there's a poster of the Ark 13. You can uh, hang it out somewhere. So yeah, well, of course, we have the boxed version of Into the Stars. For the people who uh, like something a little bit more tangible than just a Steam key. Show it up on the shelf somewhere. Exactly. And then, of course, uh, the big one. We have a Into the Stars customized Q-Pad mousepad for the pros. For the pro gamers uh, over there. It's actually a uh, control pad, so you actually can control your whole bridge just in the palm of your hand. It's pretty cool and uh, exclusive. So yeah, that's the Blast Off package. Stay tuned uh, if you want to hear if you've won, if you have participated. Um, so yeah, Nils, back to uh, the basics. Uh, for people not yet familiar with the game, what's Into the Stars? All right, so Into the Stars is a roguelike space uh, survival simulation game uh, where you have to go to Titus Nova as the Ark, uh, or as the captain of the Ark 13. Um, you're the last savior of the human uh, race and uh, you're carrying the last remnants of the, of the human race in your Ark. Uh, you have to mine resources, you have to control a city on the Ark, all while being chased down by the Scorn, the big enemy. Uh, it can get really intense because uh, besides fighting off the Scorn, you actually have to uh, mine for resources, you have to uh, send your team away for shuttle missions to scavenge the planets and maybe get some items here and there that, to boost up your ship. Um, you also have to um, um, control the crew on your, on your ship and control the population on your ship uh, through the, the city management. So there's a lot of management involved. You can actually be the captain of, uh, of your uh, space, uh, spaceship, um, which can yeah, get like really intense sometimes, um, but all with the main goal to get to Titus Nova in a safe way and as fast as possible. Right. Well, good story. Um, this is probably the perfect moment to take a look at the release trailer. All right, let's do it. Here you go. Arc 12. Final log entry. Our plan was simple. Or so we thought. Exploring planets, mining for resources, all the while moving towards our final destination, Titus Nova. Plans are always simple. Reality? That's complicated. Empty space isn't as empty as we thought. We face situations we can't imagine. Made choices we were never prepared to make. And right or wrong, we had to keep telling ourselves, it's all for the greater good. Arc 13. If you're hearing this, you're carrying the last remnants of humankind. Get them home. Art 12, out. That trailer actually gives a pretty good idea about what kind of situations you will face as pretty the intense. captain of the Ark 13. Yeah. So uh, back to the game, Niels. Uh, Into the Stars has been in early access for quite a long time. What can you tell me about that? Yeah, so uh, Fugitive Games, they actually had a Kickstarter before they went to early access. Uh, they uh, got their game funded for 130%. 
and uh, then they went into uh, early access for eight months. Um, from day one, they received a lot of feedback, actually digested all the feedback and they decided, okay, what can we implement, what is possible in also within the time frame? And they actually implemented a lot, like all the implement, all the extra features and the content is being based on the feedback from the community. So basically the product that's out now on, on Steam is basically a, uh, it's formed by the community uh, from Into the Stars. Okay, cool. And yeah. uh, what kind of additions have been made to the game uh, prior to the early access feedback? So, um, one of the th main things that uh, actually was implemented thanks to the feedback war was a, a um, combat overhaul. Uh, they changed the, the combat to make it more uh, dynamic and intense. Uh, besides that, they also did, for example, for the shadow missions, they did a complete overhaul. They made it more story driven, so it's more impactful and also more immersive for the player to actually send your team away right. and you don't know for sure if they can make it back alive. Besides that, they also implemented the city management, which is basically that you control the population on your arc and uh, make sure that they're happy and they're healthy and that they obey the law and stuff like that. So those are uh, one of the main things that are actually implemented into the game based on the feedback from the community. Right, and uh, does the game have di uh, different difficulty settings? Yeah, that's also actually based on feedback from the community. Uh, they have uh, three, difficult, three different difficulty settings at the moment. Exploration mode, normal and pursuit mode. And what does that mean? So exploration mode uh, actually is that you have more time to explore the massive star system. You can uh, discover uh, uh, different planets, you can uh, browse around without hurrying too much and without fighting off the scorn every time. Uh, when you take too long. So it's like a relaxed mode. It's relaxed mode, it's chill. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah. and normal mode, well, it's normal, obviously. Yeah, it's a bit more balanced. And what's pursuit mode? Is that like the biggest challenge? That is the biggest challenge. You have to score and ride on your heels and you have to make really fast decisions. So it's basically for the hardcore gamers or the guys who are actually a little bit more familiar with the game already uh, and actually seek that extra challenge in the game. Right. Great, yeah. so everybody has something that they like. Exactly. So something completely different, um, Into the Stars, it has been localized in more languages than English. Yeah. Um, what kind of languages will it be available in? It uh, will be available in uh, six other languages besides English. Um, they have, for example, German, French, Italian, Polish, Russian, and Spanish, did I say that again? Or, I don't or, even okay. know. <laughs> well, in well, in total, seven, seven languages. It's, it's a lot of languages. So yeah, good yeah. for our foreign friends. Doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can probably <laughs> play this game in your language. Exactly. Our great producer and product manager, he's going to show you the ropes of Into the Stars. So uh, when he's ready, we're ready and uh, let's tune in. All right, good luck. Hello and welcome on behalf of myself as well. My name is Bart and I'll be your host uh, gameplay wise as we're going to play some uh, Into the Stars, the newly released game by Fugitive Games and Iceberg Interactive. Uh, thank you, Niels and Saskia, for introducing the game uh, so nicely. Uh, it's a great idea of what the game is about. Obviously, now we want to see the game, and we're going to take you through some of the opening moves. So we're here in the main menu, and I'm going to select a new mission, and already we can see the different types of mo modes that Niels was already discussing. So we got the explorer mode, normal mode, and pursuit mode. Uh, in this case, we're going to go for the normal mode, as we want a more balanced game, and show you how the game was meant to be played in the first run. Right after you do that, you get the option to um, start, uh, select your starting loadout. And there are quite a couple of different ones over here. In the meantime, let me actually just the game sound. Sorry for that. And um, so you can customize it all together if you want yourself, or you can use one of the presets. So for the new players, we advise you to use one of these presets in advance. Um, if you're a more experienced player, if you play it through the early access already, for example, hit the customize button. And I'm going to show you that real quick. And you can see everything yourself. So there are a couple of different uh, ways you can actually customize your own ship and yourself as well. So you can select your own bio, so what kind of captain are you, are you a military officer, a scavenger, a civil engineer, or a survivalist? And all these have their own perks and traits and come with their own playing style. After you've done that, you can enter your own name, so in this case we're coming home. Hit next, and then you get Final to customize your entire ship is at yourself. The discretion, but choose wisely, as we have limited space on board. 
So there is limited space on board as the uh, ice lady is reminding us. And here we can see all the different systems for which we can choose our own modules we want to use. And different modules have different effects, require different resources. So there's a whole lot of uh, customization right here and there's a whole lot of ways you can play this game yourself. And that's really, uh, really adds to the replayability of the game. In this case, however, we're going to select one of the uh, custom presets. So I'm going to hit back. Just be aware that you can customize this your ship exactly how you want to and use it. Welcome, Captain. Confirm your details. So we're going to select a balanced uh, loadout for now. So there's the long haul loadout, which is all about actually uh, about logistics. So you can carry more stuff and you can buy longer without needing to refuel. There's also the combat loadout, which as the name suggests, has extra perks and weapons when fighting. Um, so that's a great one if you're doing, for example, the pursuit mode and expecting a lot of encounters. You'll need to select a balanced crew, Captain. So once you select your loadout, you have to select your crew and you select from a randomly generated list. So there's different uh, pool of crew members to select from each time you do it. Each crew member has attributes for different um, skill sets or different skills. So there's the mining skill, the command skill, the engineer skill, the pilot skill, the medic skill or evasive skill, and a general toughness level. The toughness really presents their stamina or how many uh, stuff they can they can take and still survive, how many hits they can take. Hi Ricky, glad you could join us. Please feel free to ask any questions in the chat while you have. And also, if you want more information on the game, there's the banner below this stream. You can click on that. It takes you right through to the Steam page where you can get more information and obviously purchase the game. So we're going to select um, some uh, specialists in each field. So looking at... Sophia Taylor is an excellent mining specialist. So would actually uh, Eric Robinson be, but he also got other qualities. So like Sophia Taylor, who's not only just good at, uh, at mining, also a great pilot, and has some potential to be a good commander. Next we need a command specialist. Uh, Ashley might be good for that. So on second thought, uh, Marcus Johnson is a bit more all-rounded, so he might be the better up. The thing is, you don't always have enough crew members at there. Some guys may be busy. Stuff. So you need a couple of backup crew members to perform specific tasks. Engineer, let's try and get our best guy out there. And um, select. Good pilot out there. So I got two potential pilots. Oh, Eric Robinson is actually also a great engineer, so let's select him. Medic, unfortunately, we don't have the best medic available anymore. Saddle with Anna King. And we could go for a toughness specialist, but generally I like to go for an Take the... Uh, make a turn for the worse, or even get killed on their missions, which is very possible indeed. Let's select an extra commander here, I think, or the extra pilot, which is... You can even rename all these crew members if you really want to personalize them, or really easily recognizable, so naming them after their jobs, essentially. Entering so once you do that, we ship out, and our position. journey begins. So people who played the uh, Early Access game will see that a lot has changed in this version. There's a different UI, there's a different way you set up your game. A whole lot of other changes under the hood together just make for a better experience. Let's skip the start and we can see a broad overview of the map right here. And our goal is to reach Titus Nova. Uh, Suskia and Niels explained our job is to get the last of humanity on planet chased by the storm. So let's have a quick look this just and a appreciate the... Uh, the I've attempted this to hail been, the other uh, arc vessels, a lot of work has been put into the general scenery. Picking up numerous signals so we got now. a beautifully 3D rendered ship. This is all in the Unreal Engine, active. by the way. You should got a nice the uh, background as well. Movements here and will makes for a very immersive game. We should keep moving and try to reach Titus Nova as quickly as possible.
All right, let me turn down the uh, in-game sound a bit. Thanks for the time. So we're on our way right now. Um, we're looking at the rear of the ship. We can also get a look at the bridge, which is actually your command center. And from here, you can use all the different panels to get more information on specifics. So we can get more information sources we got on the engineering and different modules we got on our crew directly and sent them on specific tasks as well as the city management and we'll be covering each of these during the stream. First job however is to uh, make contact with the landed over there and to see if we can use it uh, any resources or any extra module. Tom I'm wrapping up the uh, speed of the ship by Engines pressing and holding your ship power. button. You can also see the current ship hit points, the current fuel levels, obviously the speed. We got our own captain's log over here. And we have uh, information on these number of millions and the number of days of oxygen and food remain. As we approach the planet, we can soon be able to interact with it and to send out our first. Command alert. In the meantime, we have our first event popping up, and I'm going to use space here to pause the game, which you can use at any. Take your time and make your decisions. Hit the panel. You can use hotkeys for each of these panels. I'm using the mouse here. And here we have the panel coming up. So there is a group of civilians have formed a mafia and are exhorting people. Action money, arrest the gangster. So we need someone with a high command skill to take charge of the investigation on the and uh, bring these guys to justice. So let's select our uh, commander. I'm not going to select my... Uh, select. Back into the captain's ship. So we're almost in range of the uh, planet, and we can see it now. We can hit and see them. We have to interact. I'm going to do that right now. It's going to take us right through the uh, Awaiting deployment. menu from which we can choose what we actually, what exactly we want to do on this planet. So we can send a shuttle team, we can uh, send a resource probe. In this case, um, I'm still pretty good on resources, I'm only just uh, starting my journey. So shuttle team and see if we can find anything used on our planet. Select the shuttle team. So once we uh, select a shuttle team, we have to select exactly who is going to go on the mission and who is going to perform. So we need a pilot, a commander, and a medic specialist. So we got, uh, let's see, Carl Thompson has a high pilot skill, so he'll be good for Well, not our best commander. Uh, Sophia Taylor is the best we have available at the moment. Of course, we need our medic. We didn't have... So let's uh, select Anna King. Good conditions. So we got generally favorable conditions. We got a breakdown of the cost. The cost in this case, shuttle. And we got a success, which looks pretty good so far. So let's launch this mission. Shuttle deployed. Um, at Iceberg, uh, well, uh, Cajun, that's because I'm actually playing right now myself. Uh, my own ch uh, private uh, name, Surter, so I'm the one playing here. So this shuttle oh, mission was a success, and uh, we can choose where exactly we want to, or what exactly we want to investigate. So there's a training day, which has a module reward, a strange volcano, and there's an underground mystery. At this point, I don't really want to. Volcano sounds rather dangerous. Let's let's select training day. It sounds the safest option from from here. Let's see what it is about. There's a facility on this world that offers training and recreation. Passing space travelers. They've invited us to enjoy their. It is free of charge. Wow, that sounds like a pretty suspicious uh, offer. Let's say excellent. The civilians could use some training on the planet side. It sounds good. The crew could use some training. Worn out, they could use some rest. Well, the crew is not really worn out. 
rescues. I don't want to risk the civilian population right here. Let's just uh, see if we can get the crew some training. The orders are executed, and there is a failure. It's uh, a lot, uh, a pretty tough tr training schedule, so they all took some damage, they all took some hits, some. Uh, you need to recover in Your the orders, uh, Captain. Bay. So that's unfortunate. We could try another shuttle mission um, if we feel. Over but you know what? Let's let's get them rested. Let's just leave this planet for now, so we can also see a bit more of the of the space and the limited time we have. So I'm gonna just send a Yellow resource alert. probe then. Scorn tracking our position. Scorn is already coming. Let's just come back. Step back. Just a refit. Uh, Engines at maximum power. You see in the area, the sector that we just came from is now yellow. It means that the scorn is tracking us right there. Let's look at our crew right here. See something else over there in the distance, which looks like a ship, so that might be something we can interact with. Let's have a look. So we got a serial killer on the loose, and we need an... Sorry, I know you want to go into the sick bay, but they're only what's available anyways. It's a new guys to sickbay. They're gonna sit there and recover while this is gonna... Serial killer is being dealt with by Sophia Taylor. So we're gonna continue and again at any time you can just go into the uh, different view again and just... It's really something you can appreciate. Uh, also, you should know that I can control this uh, really in 3D space, so I can move up and down, even roll over if I want to. Complete freedom of how... Command issue resolved. So, one of our command additions. So, that's very good. Command issue resolved. There. So, um, it's in range, I think, of the. Um, yes, that's definitely the case. It is uh, quite similar to FTL in that it's respect. It's the R8. It's the fact that you have to, you're constantly on the move, you're constantly being chased. So if you stay in a sector for too long, the enemy will pop up and you'll be forced to fight. And that's something you generally don't want to do. The whole goal of the game is to get your people safely to the new home planet. So you're under run more than you're exploring or fighting. Of course, if you go into the explorer mode, it can become well an explorer game, but aim of the uh, game currently. Also, since I went to pilot training, so it's quite nice. We got two decent pilots already. Three, actually, so... Let's train a specialist. And while we do that, let's head back to the chair. Captain Interact ship. ship we found. Awaiting deployment. The Ark 8, one of the Arcs that went before us carrying a portion of humanity. They obviously didn't make it, but let's see if there are some survivors there or some something else that we might be able to use. Choose your shuttle team. So let's have a look quite here. Um, select a pilot, a commander, and so as pilot, we can say. Um, some limited options, so we need them. It's, it's a pretty good command here. And we need a medic. Fairly good chance of success, actually. 100. Good weather, which obviously we're in space. Shuffle away. Exactly, Titus Nova is the final planet that we need to choose to. 
shuttle supply was in test. We got some extra points for that. There's a distress call coming from inside the uh, ship. Source. We can tap into computer and find the sig safe option for now. Okay, that was a success. Shuttle returning to ship. Also, we got a new type of protein sequencer, and this one has an unknown origin, although I expect it would be some cut type of human, since it comes from a human ship. For CO2 in protein, it's efficient, but relying on a single resource could be terrible. Original one. So let's take a chance. Let's switch them over. Module active. Captain, what are your orders? So once we've already explored the ship, there's nothing else. Red planet that's on our map right here. It's a bit of time. That's probably because of the streaming software here to properly load all the uh, screens we need to have. So if we look, we see the other ship right there. It's again, it's just as detailed as our ship. So it's again, it shows how well the guys at Fugit score on tracking our position. All, uh, look beautiful and and look. Massive. So we're continuing our journey to the red planet over here, see what it has to offer. In the meantime, we can also see the, the city um, here, which actually we can expand on and we can build new buildings for a population. We're going to do that in a short while. It's a sensor one on the training mission. Let's continue our journey. Yeah, so you got the free camera in 3D, uh, so you can really look around any time you wish. But obviously, you don't have as many uh, details uh, about your ship available to you, so you'll be often switching between 2D, or uh, between inside and outside the ship. Actually, I'm not actually using full power, sorry. For Life support that. resources low. Protein sequencer resources running low. And we got a Engines bit of an issue full right power. here. Soon, or we'll be dying. Apparently, the module I swapped for is not the best because we didn't have enough resources in stock to keep up with. Controls this is just one of the things that show that how the ships you choose and the type of modules you choose, it, uh, the type of play style you, you have. So, once we run out of food and oxygen, people are going to manage to take back home to your planet, will very much decide or dictate the type of score you get. Also means Score that playing the harder difficulty detected. levels, such as pursuit mode, will give you uh, more points when actually winning. There's a great deal of bragging rights involved in doing that. Scorn signals detected. Scorn patrol has found us actually, so we're in a really bad spot right now. So there are a couple of ways you can get more people. Sometimes you can actually pick up some specialists, but the type of people you got here are really specialist people, so you can't just send them into there. I would need to send um, send a resource pro sources. Remote pilot selection. For a resource probe, you need to send a remote pilot. And uh, let's have a look first. Send. We need some. Skills, obviously, so Sophia Taylor is quite good for that. Something. Fair conditions. Probe launched. Probe lost. And this is not really going well for us at all. So we lost our probe and it crashed. So we can send another Your one. We will the resources. 
course, at this point, we'll have to do it Control anyway. Control entering hyperspace. Determine remote pilot. Meanwhile, the uh, Yellow scorn alert. tracking Scorn us. tracking our position. So it's not going well for us at all. And it shows you how Fair challenging conditions. the game can be. Scorn coming up right there. Resource if they catch away. us, we'll be forced to fight, which is a great opportunity to show you combat, obviously. But at this point, we don't really want to fight. Resources collected. Success. So in this case, we need CO2. We need don't really need the nitrogen. Captain, what are your orders? Let's uh, show off the mining game as well, so we can also Assign define the right the mining uh, specific type of, uh, or make for the specific type of resources ourselves. For that, we need a pilot, and we need someone to actually handle the mining rig. It's a pilot we're going to send to Carl Thompson and send Sophia Taylor to. Fair conditions. Mining rig deployed. Currently descending onto the planet. See who we can start mining. Here we go into the mini game. We control the. We can actually choose what type of resources we want to have, avoiding uh, what. Don't run, even some things that can perfectly fit itself, which are drill critical. If you drill too, too many of them, or if you hit the wrong one like I'm doing now, go back to the uh, drill is done for essentially, and you have to take. So, being very good at the mining game really deployment. helps you a lot going further. Obviously, if you don't want to do that type of mine, send out more. See this corn coming up there. I just want to be far. Remote pilot selection. Sources out there. Fair conditions. Probe deployed. Launch of final. Probe before we go back. Every time you send another probe, we'll probe be able to take. Successful. It's usually. What are your orders? Still don't have enough reason. Actually, I'm not enough oxygen. Entering orbit. Got more stuff, guys. Awaiting deployment. Determine remote pilot. So we can select another pilot right here. This is something you'll be doing a lot, obviously, Fair and conditions. you want to train some of your pilots up. You always want to have a backup as well, because one pilot might be busy doing something else. The same goes for your commanders, your medics, and they may even get lost or killed crashed while in action. And of course, we lost another probe, so this... Captain, what are your orders? Remote this is also part of the game. Action. It is um, very much... Every game is quite new and quite... Is key because of the different. Even in some of the lower difficulties, I think you might face situations Orange alert. where you're really Scorn force inbound. It's core coming in, so we really need to hurry. Fair conditions. Resource probe away. New no resources available. So we can take that a bit more. Space really, like, just take it. Your orders, just make a run for the new. Plan. See if we can make that. Command alert. Can't really stick it much longer. Engines at maximum. Honestly, I'm not quite sure we're going to make it right. This corn, uh, you know, right above us. That will be tricky. Life support critical. Protein sequencer critical. Now we are getting low on stuff, so we might actually start running out and then dying. But there we can see the score to the left, uh, right, so we don't want to go.
This also shows how one stupid move in the beginning, like changing out a module you're not quite sure of, can really screw your game. enough there's a scandal coming up so there are quite a number of plans we need to deal with and some of our best crew members to deal with. while we actually need them together with the resources we need to scorn signals detected scorn still on our backs so that's quite uh, quite tricky so we send Resolved. Profit is quieted, so that's good. This is basically the way you'll be going about. Obviously, usually you got a bit of a, a better start to go with if you don't switch out any modules. That will definitely help you. But you'll be going flying about, exploring these planets, grabbing what you need to grab from. Probably evading the scorn. Those remaining. Command alert. The Williams are... Approaching planet. Um, Captain, what are your orders? Send out someone to some materials. I'm gonna call my rig, which we always go. Again, it has a bit more of a hands-on feel than sending out a shuttle, sending out a resource probe. Pilot, someone to operate the mining. Good conditions. Good nice chance mining of success. Launched. Now we're descending on the planet. Oh. Successful. So we're going to start mining right now. Destroyed. <laughs> and I can hear people behind me already laughing at my terrible attempt at doing the mining game right. Which is shame on you, Bart. Honestly, it's deserved. Back a bit, but we still see it too. Your uh, orders, so instead Captain. of me messing about with the mining game, let's send out a probe then and see if that Select the better. remote pilot. Conditions. Here. It's, a fairly good success. it's quite a weird looking planet. Probe deployment successful. Scorn closing in on us, Captain. Scorn. Captain, what are your orders? Determine remote pilot. Doing a great job of piloting at this point, so we're Good just gonna let them better every time. There's a success chance right now, so that's gonna go quite well. Resources collected. More resources, so that's quite don't really need it anymore. Got enough cargo space to keep it out, so Get the hell out of here again. Scorn Drag us you can see we're already getting Command alert. Yellow. Command issue resolved. Still don't have enough with our oxygen, so I think we're gonna start dying off right now. Again, people are laughing behind me. Let's see uh Try and stay here for a bit and see if the squad catches us so we can show you combat action. So try and just 
stay in the sector. See, I can move back. There's something out there as well, different. And there's a squad ship right here. Let's go again. Let's see if we can try and find force inbound. It is inbound, I'm not sure. Up to. Scared of us. So let's just assume that. That was my attempt to actually finding your score, but we jumped. At maximum. Probably know that we're dying up. Let's see if we can approach that ship. Life support shutting down. Well, life support Protein is failing right now. We can see down. the amount of population. If we go to. We got a right here. So let's show off some combat. We're being right. hailed. So, some background information on the Scorn. So, the Scorn are a hive mind race and. Shield. So, Marcus has good commander ability, so he will be doing that. Next, we need two good engineers to handle the. So let's have a look at who is an engineer. So we got Harry is a pretty good engineer. So, so. next, Anna King was our best um, basic specialist. So her, and then we get into combat. Combat is that done by firing and receiving blast and mitigate their effect by you see for your shields. So if they're firing a red blast or a blue blast, for example, set our shield to the same. Uh, click this true. The same frequency as their weapons. Same goes reverse. So if their shields are a particular color, we need to go. Too late. as well. Enemy shot Shot deflected. Like that they're shot, we got a couple of We missed Captain. Injuries sustained. Really timing it too well. Missed. They missed us as well, so there's a bit of that. Try to take down their weapon systems. Enemy shot missed. Enemy shot missed. Enemy module offline. Civilian casualties sustained. Our shot was blocked. System damage. Torpedo system damage. Terrible timing on that. Part. So you can see combat is quite action packed. Mm -hmm. Shields hit. The other one has its weapons repaired right now with this here on the ship. We're gonna get our asses kicked here with this. Civilian casualties sustained. Engine damage. 
of damage. We have great technical beating here, guys. Enemy module offline. Enemy module repaired. Shot missed. <laughs> this is just going. Enemy module repaired. Civilians have been lost. So we're losing civilians actually while we're taking the hits as well as some civilians. Enemy shot deflected. You can see we're wrong. Enemy module repaired. Enemy module offline. Missed. Enemy module offline. Enemy module repaired. This is gonna, this can go on for quite some time actually, the way he's going. Just failing to actually. Enemy shot missed. Enemy missed, Captain. Got lucky there actually. Enemy module offline. Enemy fire deflected. Is are dying. <laughs> I can hear people in the background just screaming at me. Enemy module repaired. Enemy shot missed. Let's try shooting again. Civilians have been lost. Enemy fire deflected. Almost. They blocked our shot. 
Lethal attention requested. Enemy module offline. Module offline, we should have Civilian losses reported. Civilians continue to die up here also because we're, while fighting, we're out of food and, um, and oxygen. So that's it, that's the final uh, enemy. So that's uh, just some show of combat. Obviously, sometimes you encounter more or less of the score. It's even more hectic and harder. And you really need to time it a lot better than I was doing. Fortunately for me, with the remaining fuel and oxygen levels, this was already pretty much a lost um, endeavor, and the faith of humanity is um, unfortunately in my hands, so humanity die, will die with me as well. I think that's actually a very good moment to take it back to our host, Niels and Saskia, for some closing remarks as they try and... Uh, Civilian casualties sustained. So I hope they'll try and not talk me down too much for this. So um, I'd like to thank you all for the, watching us uh, right here and taking a look at this brief game show us your own videos see show us how you improve and how much better you do at fighting and uh, surviving than um, than we're doing right here so uh, i'm gonna go right back to you you ready and uh go. hey guys so bart thank you for that awesome gameplay <laughs> so how did it go bart um, I have had better games, to be honest. I think you made early on uh, a like big decision. Do you know which one I mean? Yeah, it was definitely sh changing the module right there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to show off uh, like one of the cool features there, but obviously it had such a big impact on my game. Yeah, it really wasn't the way to go. Yeah, and your combat skills can also. Uh, you know, uh, use some training. <laughs> I but, make you uh, use you know, a lot of training. So good effort, you know. In, in my previous games, I, I was able to actually juggle their weapon systems and, and get them down yeah. together while taking it. But at this point, I was taking just such a beating that it wasn't going too much. Yeah. Um, oh, but good I effort, think, anyways. I think your, your support from behind me really helped me there, though. <laughs> Glad to hear that, man. <laughs> just a special thanks to our CEO, Eric. Yeah. For his commentary <laughs> over here through the wall. Thank you for that, Eric. <laughs> All right. All right, so... Um, it is. Yeah, for the people paying attention. Paying uh, attention, I mean, grab it while you can because they're right here for grabs. Exactly. So, well, one of the biggest things that we were going to announce right now is the winners of the Captain's Chair contest. That's right. So, who have we here? We have chosen three people. Um, we thought their setups were pretty cool or funny or cute or whatever. Um, so yeah, let's just start. Our first submission was on Steam uh, by Darkstar. He also sent us a, a GIF. Um, the lights behind his monitors were very colorful and uh, it was one of, our, one of our first submissions. It made us pretty happy. Um, so yeah, Darkstar, congratulations. You won one of the Blast Off packages. Uh, moving on to the next uh, submission on Reddit from PC Master Race. This one's from GenJason14. Uh, we really loved the way the Stormtrooper was matching uh, the PC. And uh, yeah, great work. So um, congrats to you as well. And our third submission was from, and I hope I'm going to pronounce this right, Lenzadian. Also, Lenzadian. Uh, also on Reddit. Uh, congratulations to you. We really love the... Um, I'm not sure what it is. It looks like a piece of bread. Uh, we thought it was funny. We love funny. your lunch. We love your lunch. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, and the cute animals. And uh, well, of course, with your three, what's what's not to love there? Um, congrats <laughs> to you as well. So um, those are the winners of our contest. Um, we will post this on our social channels as well. So the Facebook of Into the Stars, uh, the Iceberg Interactive Facebook, but also the Reddit channel and the Steam forum. So uh, keep an eye out for those posts and please send us a direct message or a private message so we can get your um, address and uh, we can send them your way. Exactly. Um, so that concludes the winners of the contest. Um, I believe we got another question in the chat that hasn't been answered. Yeah, yet. it was about how, how many gigs uh, Into the Stars is. Uh, if it was two gigabytes, uh, uh, to my understanding, it is two gigabytes uh, uh, in total. 
Um, so um, it's not, yeah, it's the early access. It's the same, a little bit the same, but uh, it's the full launch uh, uh, build that's uh, two gigabytes in total. So um, we want to thank everybody for joining us uh, in this um, uh, live stream. On this exciting day. <laughs> yeah, it was our first live stream uh, in a setup like this. So we hope you guys enjoyed it. Into the Stars is now available on Steam, on good old games and uh, other digital platforms uh, on Steam. It's uh, at a discount of 10%, so $17.99. Get it now and we hope you enjoy and subscribe to our channel if you like this stream we're um, gonna do this more often so we're, yeah we're planning to do this more often so um yeah hope to see hope to see you next time yeah well thank you guys for watching bye bye, bye. ciao